Hello, preschool friends. I have a special, oh, it's gonna fall off. I have a special friend with me today. This is my sister. What's your name? Oh, I'm gonna tell you her name. She's being shy or something. Her name's Olivia. Do you wanna tell my preschool friends anything? Do you get to go to preschool right now? You do get to go? No, nope, her preschool's closed too. She doesn't get to go. So today she was hanging out with me for a few minutes and we were making slime and we thought, well, we were making oobleck. Like we had in our trough, um, Miss Amy made that green oobleck. So we wanted to make oobleck with you today for a video. So Olivia already made some. You wanna show them your slime now, your oobleck? It's hard to see. I forgot to get food coloring, so ours is just white. Yeah, can I hold it up close? Maybe they can see it better if it's up close to the camera. It's spread all over the plate. Woo! It's gonna fall off the plate. So this was our practice. We made some a little bit on her plate. So now we'll make some on a big plate. So first thing, we need only two ingredients. Do you know what ingredients are? Ingredients are like the things that you put together to make something. So for oobleck, we just need two ingredients. Do you know what this one is? This one. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. It might be, it's backwards on my phone when I record it. So it might be backwards again when you watch it on your computer or on your phone at home. So you might either see a normal, some normal words or backwards words. So either this is a letter C or it's a backwards C and this is a S or a backwards S. I don't know, but this says, Corn starch. This is what Miss Amy used to make our oobleck at school. So we're gonna use it to make my oobleck at home. So first, you need to get a scooper, a cup. You could use, you could use any of your cups. We're gonna use one that says a number one on it and a four. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, it's probably gonna be backwards again. One fourth cup. So we're gonna use it to get one scoop first. Wow. One scoop. Oh, I didn't get all the way full. Let me help you get it all the way full. And then you can dump it on my plate. It's kind of hard to get it full. One scoop. I can scoop it. Oh. Okay, that's good, that's good. One scoop. Then, let me remember, I think we're gonna do, let me do the math in my head, one and a half. We're gonna do another half of this. Can we fill this up just kind of halfway? That means it's not all the way full and it's not at the bottom. We're gonna put it right in the middle of the cup, halfway. So let's see if we can work together to get a half of a cup. Whoa. Let's see, let's check it. All right, wait, 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 wait. Here, let go for a second. Let's see, let's smoosh it in there. Mm, let's see if this looks like a half or if it looks, let's show our, let me get it smooshed down a little and then we can show the camera. Does that look like a half or not a half? To me, it still looks kind of a little more than half. So we'll dump out just a little bit. Yeah. That Wait. looks better. Let's show the camera now. That's like half full. So put that on our plate. Whoa. <clears throat> it splattered everywhere. So you can't do splat. You want to be careful. Look at, look at my shirt. It splattered all over my shirt. Okay. Now we want to do the same cup and we just want to fill it up with one thing of water. I got a cup of water here. We're going to pour it in. Does that look like water? You can't tilt it or it will dump out. It, this is water. I got it from the sink because I didn't want to have to go to the sink while I was making the video. Okay, you ready to pour it? Woo! Another thing you can do, we don't have coloring at my house, but if you had food coloring like red or blue or green or yellow, you could drop it into the water and then mix it up. Or you could try making colors. We practiced making colors at school before. Do you remember, preschool friends, what colors we would make? We mixed red and blue together. And it made, do you know what color red and blue makes if you mix it together? It makes purple. 
<clears throat> what happens if you mix red and yellow? Do you know? It makes orange. <clears throat> Do you know what happens if you mix blue and yellow? <clears throat> Do you know what happens? <laughs> it makes green. So if you want to make different colors of ubuk or slime, you could mix different colors together in your water and then pour it on your cornstarch. So we're just using our fingers to mix up our oobleck because right now it's just like in chunkies. There's big chunks of, ah, I just stepped off water. Oh, oh no, that's okay. And sometimes it's not perfect. Like ours might still be too hard. If it's still too hard, we might need to add some water. Let's see. We're still mixing our oobleck. It's not very, good it's yet. not good yet. Oh, but it's getting there. I can feel it on our plate. This is like our little mini trough, like at school. We're using a plate because we don't have a trough. If I touch it, it's hard, like our school oobleck. But if I pick it up, oh, we made slime. We made some oobleck. Let's see, let's show our camera. It's gonna be hard to see because it's white. And my plate, oh, it's kind of a little bit too runny maybe to show. But you can see our slime. So you could try making this at home. You could ask your mom if you have cornstarch. And then you could get water from the sink. And you use, <gasps> careful, oh, you're getting it all over me. You use one and a half cup of the cornstarch. And your cornstarch container might look different. Use one and then a half. And a half meant not full and not empty. It was right in the middle. One full one. And then a half one of cornstarch. Kind of one. And then, see? I see that. And then you use one of these with water. And if it's too runny, if it, like doesn't, this? if it doesn't stay solid, then you can, and solid meant like it was really hard. And then liquid is when it does this. If it's too liquidy, if it does too much running, then you could add a little bit more cornstarch. Wait, yeah, if it's too hard, too solid, then you could add some more water. So that's how we make oobleck. I hope that you it's get- It's runny. It's kind of runny. Hope that you get to make some too, and you can tell us when we go back to school if you got to make oobleck. So we're gonna play with our oobleck now, and we're gonna say bye, but we'll talk to you soon. We'll say bye. Bye. Thanks for watching us.